What's up everyone? Today we're going to talk about castles. There's a whole new castle system in the game, or well, revamped castle system I should say, in terms of castle territories and vertical building because you can build stairs upwards to the skies above. So uh, with that in mind, we're going to cover uh, the basics. I'm going to first kind of showcase how the castle system works now. Um, we're going to talk about placing tiles and everything. Then they'll go into stairs. Then I'll cover how it works in terms of caves like where the new cave spots are and when they lead now and then lastly at the end of this video i'll be having a portion uh no camera off just music going where i'm gonna go through um all the zones and kind of just highlight the different castle spots so first things first where can you build um you cannot just free build in this game anymore you can't just place a castle heart wherever and build there it has to be in a castle territory you'll see on the map um, I am up here. You can see these castle territories. They pop up highlighted here. These are castle territories. And when you claim one, like you see ours highlighted in blue and enemies highlighted in red, you claim that spot. So when you place a castle heart down in this you know, highlighted area, that whole highlighted area becomes yours. People cannot land in bat form in here. This is your protected you know, land. So this is what it looks like. And then you can build from there. Like here, you can see I have this castle built. Uh, it is not A, pretty, but B, it's also not built out all the way throughout the whole claim. It's just covering this one little portion. If I wanted to expand, just like before, you'd have to put some type of flooring down, and I could build and expand like that, right? That being said, this is what the castle looks like. In the same essence, you will upgrade the castle, and then the more you upgrade, the more placement spots you have. So you see, I have up to... Uh, 420 placement spots for this. I'm not sure if this is the normal numbers or if this is different based off this beta test server, right? But you can place these down. These will also apply when you place down higher levels. So it's not a 420 floor on each of your you know, floors. It's no by this. Let me not get attacked by these guys roaming into my castle land. Um, so yeah, so I placed it down before and it's the very same system. You have the walls up, you place things down. It's the exact same system as it was before no just depending on how you want to organize and structure going into building floors up though what you'll have to do is build stairs here in the castle section you see there's now a stair section you have stone like straight you have like an l shape another l shape and then just a wide uh double staircase do with that as you will when you build the stairs, you know, back here, I built the stairs up. So this will take me one floor up and it just stops like this until I build a foundation. When I get up here, I can build a foundation. I'll just build this one. You guys can kind of see as it highlights hovering up here. So I place the foundation down and all of a sudden I'm on my next floor. I can keep doing this and you no, know, et cetera, and build out there. You do have to be aware, like you just saw there. I'll do it again, actually. You will have to clear out the environment to be able to build like this. Again, after you build up to this spot, you can go up to one more floor higher. You can go up to three levels of your castle. So I will build another staircase here. It goes up. Build another foundation here. And I could just build a whole foundation here and a whole foundation on this floor. Again, same system. You just have multiple floors now as you go up here. If you see, though, if I try to build any more, I'm at my castle height limit. So I can't go any higher than this. Um, and just a fun note, you can leap off of stairs. So that's how it works in terms of building the stairs up. Um, you build it off of your first floor. You choose which stair style you want. They can be inside or outside. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. So if I wanted to, I could build a nice little um, stair section. And I could put it into my roof here. I cannot build here. And then if I wanted to, do a foundation. Boom. And kind of build it out this way. If I want, I can take out to the roof and build up here. Have a nice little rooftop balcony, right? So that's how the uh, system works now. That's just kind of you know, the basics of everything. Next, we're going to hop into cave passages. Um, overall, cave passages have not changed too much. This cave passage in Silverlight still leads you to the Farbane. You know, this one in Dunley still leads you to the Farbane. They all still go up to down, right? Same cave passages. There have been uh, two adjustments. Uh, the cave passage over here is now over here. Um, still leads to the same spot. And then lastly, there's an additional new cave 
uh, here in the middle of Gloomrot. This cave will lead you down uh, to Farbane as well. I will go up there now, cut the video, and show you where it leads. So here we are at the cave in Gloomrot South, right kind of in the middle of the Gloomrot zone overall. Now if you've been paying attention, you know where some of these castle locations already take you, so you can guess where this one, the new one, is going to take you. But we go through here, enter, and we head down to Farbane. We'll be right here in Farbane above the copper mine. So those are all the cave spots. Otherwise, the caves have stayed the same. Just some slight adjustments on where exactly they are. This one got moved over here. Um, but yeah, overall, they'll still end you in the same place. And then uh, there's a new one that takes you down here into the middle of Farbane. So you can build around this cave here if you're looking to go up to Gloomrot, get resources, and take a cave teleportation back down to Farbane. And then lastly, as I mentioned, I'm going to now go over all the castle spots. Uh, I'm just going to I'm gonna turn my you know, camera off, all that stuff, and just going to go through, hover my mouse over all the spots. So I'll timestamp this according to what zone I am looking at. So you can kind of go through and see if your favorite castle spot is still available and what's changed about it. And yeah, either way, guys, hope you guys like this video. Um, and subscribe. If you like this content, obviously follow me at twitch.tv slash redloft. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.